there, this is Trisha. I'm the owner of Aromatherapy by Trisha, and it's fall. So I wanted to share a spice-inspired fall recipe for a lotion. So um, spice essential oils are very good antimicrobials. They're warming. They offer analgesic properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and, and lots more things as well. But they do need to be used properly. Most spice oils need to be used in low dilutions. So somewhere they could, that could be anywhere from 0.4 to 0.8%. So less than, you know, just uh, less than a couple drops per ounce. So today the oils that I'm going to be using are um, sweet orange because it pairs so beautifully with the spice oil. So I like to use it with spices. I'm going to be using cinnamon leaf so cinnamon leaf is different from cinnamon bark oil. So the essential oil from the leaf is higher in eugenol and it can be used in low doses safely on the skin. Cinnamon bark on the other hand is made from the bark and it's higher, it's high in cinnamaldehyde and it can be very irritating to the skin. Uh, if you are going to use it topically, the suggested dermal limit is less than one drop per 40 mils. That's, le that's less than one drop per ounce. So it's not recommended that you use cinnamon bark on the skin. So we're using cinnamon leaf instead. It still smells beautiful. I'm going to use some clove bud. So clove bud, it's a great analgesic, great germ fighter, and it can be used safely on the skin uh, as long as it's at a dermal limit of 0.5%. And then I'm also using a uh, delicious nutmeg. So this combination with the orange is just going to give us a beautiful fall lotion. So I have two ounces of my base. It's a handcrafted lotion. And to this base, I'm going to add just a couple drops of nutmeg. So since it's two ounces, I'm just gonna add 10 drops. So it's gonna be about five drops per ounce. That's a 1% dilution total of the oils. And um, that's a very safe dermal limit for these spicy oils. And I'll put this recipe on my website. I'm going to use a couple drops of the clove. Let's get a couple drops of that. Clove is, clove is very strong, but it's a, great, it's a great germ fighter, a great oil for the fall, great for the immune system support. Two of the cinnamon leaf. So remember, we're using the cinnamon leaf and not the bark oil. The bark is beautiful, but it can be really irritating to the skin. And then I'm going to use four drops of the orange. One, two, three, and four. And you can probably see that bright orange color that will help us see how well we're mixing our oils into the lotion base. So as I watch it, I can see the orange swirl into the cream. And I need to mix this really well. And typically, if, I, if I'm going to make a larger batch, I'll weigh things out. Um, doing things by drops is not ideal for larger batches, but if you're just making a small quantity, it's a very simple way, very simple way to create a lotion but in the in the lab we always want to weigh weigh things so that smells beautiful as I smell it you know I can smell the sweet orange I really love the smell of the nutmeg in there and then a little bit of the you know the spicy clove and cinnamon leaf it's beautiful this is a beautiful fall lotion and what it's going to to also offer us mm, that smells great is a lot of antimicrobial power. Clove, cinnamon leaf, nutmeg, great antimicrobials. The orange supports the immune system. These oils are warming. So it's, it's kind of funny because even though we're headed into fall in California, it's actually pretty warm still. But um, as, it, as it, it's cool in the mornings and as it cools down, it, it, having these warming essential oils is really nice. So I'll put this recipe on my website and write a little bit more about the essential oils, but I hope you'll give it a try because I think you'll love it. 
And of course, if you need any of the essential oils or you need a base, you can, you can always purchase those items on our website or even message me and I can make up a little kit um, for people or, and whatnot. So have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.